Hi Mark here from Connected Healthcare New Zealand. This is another video in the series for the Mindray Ventilator SV800. This one looks at non-invasive ventilation, your basic settings, your patient data, what it looks like on the screen with the site window, also how to set up your apnea settings and what they look like when they kick in. We're going to choose a new patient, adult, not paediatric. Rather than invasive, we're going for non-invasive. The symbol for the non-invasive is a face with a mask rather than an ET tube. You'll see the ET tube will disappear and being replaced by that symbol when we get underway. Let's go for a male of 174 centimetres, OK. Now that, like I said, that symbol has changed and we'll have a mode change as well. Let's go to CPAP with pressure support. Let's go for 21% room air. So you select the parameter. Let's go with PEEP of 5 select, adjust, and then confirm pressure support of, should we say, 8. And all the other settings here can be selected, adjusted, confirmed. OK. So we can start ventilation now. Now, when you see the patient take a breath, you'll see two things. You'll see the triangle here, and we'll see a lung symbol here as well. All of your readings are over here, all of your measurements are over here. The pressure ones, the pressure are orange in this case, and the flow rates are blue with the FiO2 of, uh, in the white there. So as a default in the non-invasive ventilation mode, the waveforms come up However, if we push this little tab here, pulling out, out, we've got a site window we can also look at, which allows you to look at the lung compliance and the airway resistance as well. We've got the inspiratory resistance here and the static compliance here. Uh, we've also got spontaneous breaths and the volume that's spontaneous there. So you've still got your wavelengths, but you can see this oversight as well. There's a history on the left of the parameters, the basic parameters. While you're in non-invasive mode, there is obviously a backup for apneas in the original settings that you put into the ventilator. If you want to check those settings, you pop the top left-hand corner where that pressure support V, PSV button is, and you'll find the settings. Down the bottom, we've got the apnea um, settings there. So let's say OK and I'm expecting that now that the patient has stopped breathing that the alarm will come up now and it will say apnea, ven apnea ventilation 